In Long Beach, sunshine and a slight breeze bring out thousands of pleasure boaters. And busy boat ramps mean a busy day for the lifeguards of the Long Beach Fire Department. I'm Robert Hamilton. I'm a rescue boat operator. Today's weather is 75 degrees. Wind speed about 10 to 20 miles an hour. We're looking for big crowds today. We're looking for busy boating traffic, a lot of beach crowds, a lot of beach patrons. Uh, it's going to be an exciting day. Craig Sector LA, Long Beach Lifeguard Rescue Boat 4. We copied that traffic. Uh, we are in that area. We'll take that out. Robert and his deckhand, John Burke, will spend much of the day patrolling inside the city's harbor, searching for boaters in distress. But out here in Long Beach, you never know what you'll find. Not sure exactly what we have yet. Possible car in the water at Davies. Oh, it looks like we got a car and trailer. When you first see something, you're trying to figure out what you have. And then when you see it's car in the water trailer, your first thing is, OK, are there people in the water? I entered the water and had enough visibility to be able to see into the cab. The window was down, a small space. The cab was able to ascertain there was nobody in the vehicle at that time. Nobody inside. Everything's OK. Fire, this is rescue boat four. Copy. This is a vehicle that was launching his boat. His truck and trailer and boat are all together in the water. We're going to send some divers down to tie it up and have the trailer or the uh, truck driver pull it out of the water. Copy. As lifeguards prepare to dive to the sunken truck, the anxious owner disconnects his boat from the trailer. Hey, I don't want you taking that off. I don't want you to. Stop. Turn your boat off. I don't want you to disconnect it at this point. And where is your trailer? Right. How are you going to get this back on the trailer now is my question to you. Okay. All right, does your boat start right now? Yeah. OK, go take it to the dock, and then I need to get your registration with you and the driver's license. You were backing down, and it got slippery? Yeah, back down. We need to go truck, go to the floor. It's up down. Fly up and down, he got up. Is it still in reverse right now? Maybe. Maybe. Accidents. That's why you have insurance, right? Yeah. Tell me you have insurance. As the tow truck arrives, an amused crowd gathers on the boat ramp. He was trying to pull his boat out of the out of the water, and his outdrive was down. So we started screaming and yelling for him to stop because his outdrive was hitting the concrete there. Uh, so he jumps out of the truck. He didn't set his brakes or uh, put the truck in gear. He came and jump into the boat, and everything started sliding to the ocean. Is it still OK? The truck? Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Not OK? The truck's in trouble. It's going to need to go to the truck hospital. They got to fix it. The mechanic's going to have to really get on that. Once the pickup is successfully out of the water, the boat is placed back on the trailer and towed out as well. As expected, the damage to the truck is substantial. But to the surprise of the lifeguards, the boat is also completely full of water and must be drained immediately. Apparently he had a plug or something he didn't fill. So now he's got water he's been coming into his boat the whole time, as well as his car now. So he's having a real wet day. With a missing plug resulting in a hole by the boat's prop, it's probably a good thing it never got too far from land. This accident is turning out to be a blessing in disguise. Fortunately, he sunk here at the dock and not out to sea. Without those plugs, the boat's sinking. Had they gone out to sea, that boat sank. You got all these women and children on board. We have a whole different situation on our hands. So the guy, in one way, is relatively lucky that he, he sunk his car. Mm -hmm.